Hexed by I Post at Midnight. So Admiral Malik, why are you calling Mars? The face on the screen appraised a grubby archaeologist with a grim look. Are you alone, Dr. Greer? Greer shrugged. The rest of my crew is down in the catacombs. Nobody topside but me and Martian ghosts. You're the foremost expert on Martian culture? Another shrug, as Greer leaned back and slapped ineffectually at the reddish dust on his sleeves. I suppose that pass as an expert for what it's worth. Been on Mars ten years, but we've barely begun understanding the records they left behind. On screen, the Admiral hesitated, then appeared to reach a decision. What did hexagons mean to Martians? Hexagons? Well, as you might imagine, deciphering any ancient culture is tricky. On top of that, one's never been in this situation, studying an ancient race that is literally alien to us. Their symbology was derived from different cues, not to mention they were so much more advanced than hexagons, doctor, Malik interrupted with the force of a command. Greer raised his eyebrows, unused to being addressed in such a tone. I believe Martians used hexagons in a similar fashion to the way we'd used an X, or skulls and crossbones. They indicated danger. Hearing this, Malik's frown deepened. What do you know about Saturn? It's got pretty rings, Greer laughed. I'm an archaeologist, not an astronomer. Why? Malik's image switched to a grainy photo. This is Saturn's North Pole. Note the hexagonal cloud formation surrounding the pole. Each side is nearly 14,000 kilometers, longer than Earth's diameter. It was first documented by the Voyager missions in the 1980s. Hexagonal clouds, is that natural? So we thought, a few weeks ago, it began dissipating. Then our current satellites orbiting Saturn recorded this. Malik played a high resolution video. Greer sat up and watched chaotic barbed shapes pouring from the vortex at the center of the hexagon. My god, are those... Ships, Malik finished for him, accelerating faster than anything we've ever built. And they've turned towards the inner planets, toward Mars and Earth. There must be millions of them. Greer said, his mind reeling. Have you contacted them? What do they want? We don't know. The only other information we've received is from Saturn itself. The planet emits natural radio waves from an interior, like this old Cassini recording from 2003. Greer's skin crawled as the noises filled the room. They were eerily similar to sound effects used for UFOs in early black and white science fiction movies. Doctor. Those radio emissions have been replaced by a short, repeating signal burst. Broader spectrum and much more powerful. Is this Martian? Can you interpret? Malik played the new audio recording. Greer listened, then swallowed. I'll need to check with our linguist, but it's roughly equivalent to an alert. Or an alarm. Saying what? Prison break. <laughs>